Okay, let us begin. In this episode, we look at another purchase of a car. Pedro bought a car for $45,000. Now we are given the, the selling price of the car, and then there is a down payment. And weekly payments at the end of every week for five years. Interest is 1.48% compounded annually. What are the weekly payments rounded to the nearest cent? Right, so we need to compute the, the weekly payments. So that is what will be computed. PY payments. Payments are the end of every week. So PY would be 52. Compounding is done annually, so CY would be one. IY is 1.48%, so we can enter that number in there. And the present value now, we will need to look at these, these numbers up here. So $45,000 is the price of the car. But there is a down payment of $13,500. So what we need to do is to take the $45,000, subtract $13,500. So we subtract $13,500. And with that, we get the amount that Pedro has to take out as a loan or needs to finance. So the present value will be $31,500. Okay, so that is how we get that number. And seeing we've already calculated it, we can just enter it as the present value. Okay, so future value is zero because the car will be paid off at the end of five years. Right, so there we are. Okay, so let's us begin and we will proceed now to enter PY and CY. So second IY will take us to where PY resides and PY is 52. We click on enter as it says enter, so we do enter it. We go down, CY is different, so now one has to be entered and we can always go and check. CY is 52, CY is 1, and now we can get out. We could just click on clear twice, and we are out of there. So how many years? It's for five years. So we take five, and we go second, N, N, and N turns out to be 260. All right, interest rate is 1.48. 1.48. Is IY. Present value, it is 31,500. That is what is owing after the down payment of 13,500. Remember, we took that number and we subtracted from 45,000, and that is how we got to 31,500. Now we entered that value already, so we can just recall and check it out, and it is correct. Payment, well, that is what we'd like to compute. The future value is a zero. So zero for the future value, and we compute the payment. And the payments are, you could put the negative in if you wish, it doesn't matter. But if you just like to copy what goes up there, then you can put the negative. It means you're making payment. All right, what is the cost of financing? So the cost of financing is computed by how much was paid, which is the amount of each payment times the number of payments. So it'll be 125.68. We take a positive number, we multiply by 260. That is the amount that was paid. And then we subtract the amount of money that was borrowed, 31,500. So let's compute the amount that was paid. So that is the amount of the payment, but we like to make it positive. So we click on plus minus. And we multiply by recalling N, so we don't make mistakes. And then we have $32,675.74. That's what Pedro paid. 
in weekly payments. Okay, the payments were made at the end of every week. So that is the total amount he paid. Now the amount that he borrowed was 31,500. So if we subtract 31500, we should get the cost of financing $1,175.74. And we submit. There we are, and it is finished. Okay, so that is another question, but the difference was that the down payment was made on a price that was known previously in the previous question. That number had to be computed and we had to go and find the selling price. Okay, so that is all that's required here. And that brings us to the end of another episode. Please stop.